Hello. Looking for myself again. <laughs> All right. Let me adjust this for a second. How are you? I still have my lighting set up to paint, so I apologize. The video is a little dark once again. And yeah, so here we are. I completely forgot to hop on live yesterday. I was having a, a great day and time just went by really fast. So today I wanted to talk to you about a super simple getting started project or maybe you don't have very much time or you don't want to put a whole lot of thought into um, a painting project. You can do this with markers too or crayons. It doesn't have to be paint in a canvas. Um, it can be in a journal or just on a piece of paper. Um, but it is fun and you can also learn a lot about yourself in the process. So I'm going to show you a couple that I did. So this one is, I'm still learning these. This one is just a bunch of flowers. And I painted this in like a couple of hours. It was um, an open studio. And I just, we were painting flowers. And this is what came from that. So flowers are a really fun way and bring some happiness and bit of sunshine. So flowers are easy to do. I mean, you can, some of mine look more like they could be butterflies. Like this one, I might end up turning into a butterfly, but um, yeah. So there's some flowers. And this one is a unilome. This is actually, there are several layers to this one. Um, there was a sun under this. Um, there was actually some arrows. Um, there's a whole lot of symbols behind this one, but this last one is just a unilome. And I apologize, the light is not great, so it's not super easy to see, but it's actually really cool. I really like this one. And let's see, the other one I wanted to share with you today is this one. Now, this one is one that I did. Ah, let's go this way. You can kind of see here. There are a lot of different symbols within this one, um, but the heart and an eye came through, like I was seeing an eye, so I put some emphasis there. There's lots of spirals. Um, there are some other symbols here. Um, there's some circles and there's this symbol here, which is I have a ring that has that shape on it. Um, and then, of course, where else? I know there was more in here. There's lots of spirals. There's some dots on here. There's some, um, the words I am ease are on here. And I'll share with you why. That was because um, I woke up feeling very headachy that day and on the verge of getting a migraine and I wanted to paint that day and I was bummed because it was, um, it was really turning into a migraine fast and I pulled out all my tricks and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go and paint. And I went in and started and... I got lost in this and there are probably there's probably like four layers to that but what happened was by the end of that the migraine had completely 
gone away. And I'm not saying that that has happened every time because it hasn't. And I'm not saying that with every migraine, you know, I'm able to go and paint. Um, but those symbols and then look like what comes out, like what comes out. So the heart love, right? I needed to love on myself. You know, whenever we have um, dis-ease within our body or um, our emotions, if we're upset or we're sad or irritated um, or there's physical stuff going on, it is a message that your body um, is sending you, right? That there's something that is off balance, off center. And when we can begin to not necessarily like fight the pain or, um, you know, embrace it, whatever it is. But if we can say like, what are you trying to tell me? Like, what do you want to say? What is going on here? And what can I, what can I do? Like, what is, what can I do that is the highest and best for me right now? And one thing that really came through in that painting that I did was there's several hearts there and I really just needed to spend some time loving on myself. And it was a very stressful time too. And stress is another one that creates a tremendous amount of dis-ease and painting is a great way to relieve stress. It's a great way to um, just get a complete shift and to get a message like, what are you trying to say to me? And when we're painting and we're asking those questions and we're just being intuitive and going with the flow and not trying to force something, and even if we are trying to force something, that's a message too. And listening to those messages, and maybe it is like self-love, maybe I need to spend more time, like what does that look like? Asking the questions, then a lot of times we have clarity, we have a solution. And isn't that worth like spending a few moments at the canvas or in our art journal and just going a little bit deeper, connecting with ourself, um, connecting with God, whoever it is that you choose to connect with, then the answers can flow and that stress is reduced. And when the stress is reduced, the tension goes away and we can sleep better, we have more clarity, we're at peace, we are at ease. And that is a huge thing when you get migraines, right? The pain, there's a lot more to a migraine than just the pain, although the pain is enough in itself, but reducing the stress, because if, we're, if the stress hasn't played a big part in the migraine, when we're in the middle of a migraine, or if you have chronic health issues or chronic pain, when you're in it, you tense up. And so if there's a way that we can relax a little bit, we can ease the tension, um, creating, painting, drawing, um, that helps us to get into the right brain and out of the left brain, which is shoulda, woulda, coulda, you need to do this. And the right brain is like, okay, let's take a breath. Let's, the answers are here. Let's just find them. Let's find our symbol or words that come out. There's so many things that can come out and so many messages. And it's all just because we spent a few minutes at the canvas or in our art journal. And so you don't need to have like any preconceived idea of what you're going to paint or draw color. Just all you need are some art supplies. And I had a video on that 
and sit down and just start putting, just start getting some, um, some color down and just see what comes out. Maybe it's a bunch of circles, maybe it's hearts, maybe it's spirals. Like I've been doing hearts and spirals for, I don't know, eight months or so now. And maybe you see like an animal come through or like owl. I paint a lot of owls come through. And then you can look it up. Like what are the meanings? What are the meanings? And start asking questions and maybe that symbol, maybe the heart is one. Maybe you're being guided to go a little deeper in your self-love, or maybe you've been putting others first and it's time to take a step back and care for yourself for a while. And that can become like your symbol for a season, like the spiral. It's just growing and expanding. And there's, you know, a lot of other things you can look that up, but we can, I mean, Google, right? We have Google, you can look those things up and there are books on that. And then we can apply those messages. We can go back and say, how do I, you know, continue asking those questions. And next thing you know, you have this fabulous little project. And this one will not like, I'll paint over it again at some point. I'll probably paint over all of these, all three of these at some point. And that's okay because I'm doing it for myself. And that's what I would hope that you would do. And I would love to help you um, find your symbol. I'm putting together a three part class on how to do that. So if you are interested in learning more, comment below, send me a message and I'll put you on my email list. So you'll be the first to hear about it. All right, happy painting. I love you guys and I will see you back here tomorrow.